All right, guys, let's talk about opening multiple plugins at once. All right, so I have this session open as an example, and just sometimes it's easier to have multiple plugins open at once so you can see what both of them are doing. For example, to make sure that neither one's clipping um, while you're playing back your audio, so your music, whatever it is. So I figured today we would do just a shorty video and I'd show you how to do that really quick. All right, so you guys probably all know that your plugins are up here on the inserts panel, right? We can open up multiple inserts panel using this drop down down here. Um, so right now I have A through E and F through J. So I have both panels of inserts here, but like if I don't want both of them, I can hide F through J, stuff like that. Anyway, um, that's not the point. We're gonna talk about opening multiple plugins at once here. All right, so let's say I have this EQ open and I wanna open something else and watch both of them at the same time. So what I can do is there's two ways that I'll do this. Um, one way is to click this little uh, red, uh, I guess it's a square right here, and just make it so it's not red anymore. And so now if I were to click another plugin, for example, it will open both at once. Okay, so that's one way to do it. That's kind of the longer way to do it. The other way you can do this, I will return these to normal, normal, whatever that is, right? Um, is you can click to open a plugin and then you can just hold shift, I'll do the doubler again, and click to open the second plugin. So I can just open a whole bunch of plugins this way, right? Oh boy, I wonder what track that is. Anyway, so that's the basic idea. Sometimes it's really helpful to be able to open multiple plugins to see what's happening through the whole signal chain. Or for example, I do it a lot when I'm working on like the, the master track, right? So a lot of times I'll wanna see, um, a lot of times I'll actually open an EQ that's totally blank here. And that's just so I can see where it's hitting before all my other plugins. I'm sure there's a better way to do that, but that's one thing that I do. So then I'll wanna have this open and I'll also wanna have, for example, my refinement plugin open, which I just have a little tiny bit of refinement here on the master fader. Um, and you know, more often I'll have this to see where it's hitting at the beginning of the master fader uh, signal chain. And then I'll also, let me open this up here. I'll also wanna open, for example, my meter here. I just clicked it, there we go. Um, so I'll also wanna open my meter so I can see where it's hitting in terms of luffs, especially if I am also mastering the track, right? A lot of people don't have the budget to uh, have a separate mastering engineer, so I often end up doing this for people. So so yeah, these are two of the plugins that I tend to open at the same time. But you know, it just depends on your workflow and what you're doing. So, so yeah, that's it for this shorty video, opening multiple plugins at once, either shift click or click on that little red uh, uh, square on the top right corner of the plugin. Um, so I hope you guys found this useful. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, you know, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I come out with a new video. And I do have a Patreon if you want to support my channel more directly. So it's patreon.com slash noise and my patrons do get access to additional content. So yeah, that's about it. I come out with new videos every Wednesday and thank you for watching. Okay. I like had an itch on my nose this whole time. I don't know.